But most people don't even, first of all, know what a lintel is. You right. want to run that by us real quick? Yeah, lintel. It, it's it's angle iron, and it's specifically it's uh, used to hold brick over an opening. It gets problematic when you're talking about a larger span opening, so like a garage door. That, that's where you can really start to see some lintel failures. When, when we're having to redo this, I mean, what are the signs right. that I need this done? So first and foremost, you might see some hairline cracking start. You can see some sagging as, as that progresses. Uh, the, the biggest telltale is you, it doesn't just stay uh, as a crack. It, it's going to keep progressing over time. Uh, some failures move more quickly than others. If you start to see shear cracking, so just bricks split down the middle, yeah. where it's not even following the mortar, that's a good sign that that's a much more uh, escalated problem. And, and happening quickly too. And typically you can actually see it in the opening sagging. Yeah, sagging there in the middle, that'll lead to garage alignment issues, but if you have a home where that's happening, I mean, you're going to start to see where, where your garage is almost smiling at you every time you pull in the driveway. Hey, it's Derek with Lintel Lift and we're out at customer's home. I'm going to show you a little bit about our system and why it's needed. So we've got this huge wall and a lot of weight coming down on this Lintel. Uh, this home's only about 18 months old, but there's just simply too much weight coming down. So what we do is we place our system into place. We're gonna shore up the lintel that's there. Structurally, we're gonna make it sound again, but then we're also gonna add to it with, with our system where we press up in the center of this opening and redistribute all this weight through the load triangle. So you can imagine on each side of this garage, there's about a 45 degree angle and a load triangle in the center. That's the weight that we have to take care of. That's the workload coming down on the lintel. So we're gonna press upward with our lintel that's engineered with a camber. We're gonna redistribute that weight down through the center. Let me show you what we're looking at here. Where this is sagging in the middle, we take a little measurement from the garage slab to the bottom of the stone. And we're looking right at 95 inches. The problem is on each side, we're looking at 96 and a quarter. So that tells us it's got that inch and a quarter sag. And when it's bearing down in the middle, it's pushing up on the sides. That's where you get the cracking that comes up on each corner. So I want you to take a look at this stone. This is beautiful stonework, but what's gonna happen on a traditional repair is you're gonna have to come and tear all of this out. Uh, that runs cost up very significantly because they're gonna to have to salvage the brick, salvage the stone as they go. And on a home like this, on a wall like this, of this size and this magnitude, that is just not ideal. Uh, it gets very expensive, it gets very messy. You're gonna to have to be paying a brick mason for their time to sit on your yard and chisel away at this stone. Uh, if, if they break any, that can cause issues. You're gonna end up with stone in that does not match. And what do you guys do to fix it then? Yeah, so typically what you would do is a, a replacement. What we do, the reason we're special, is uh, we, we've got a system that comes in and shores up the lintel that was there failing. Uh, it's a quick six hour repair as opposed to a full wall tear out. This column is square tubing and it's gonna rest directly on top of a base plate after it gets cut to size. And the lifting mechanism is our jack screw. So we don't actually physically jack anything with the wall. All of the lift comes from the lintel itself and this jack screw. Simply works. It's got a block at the bottom, fits inside the tubing, and then it's turned and lifted. Once that's lifted into place, it has an oil impregnated washer that goes on the top and a nut that locks the screw into place so there's no movement over time. If you're coming in, you're going over the existing lintel, yeah. it sounds like it's gonna take up a lot of space. I, it makes sense that you would think that out the gate, but it really doesn't. It comes in flush with uh, your, your garage gasket or weather stripping at the top, so you're losing no space on that top. Uh, on your sides, you're gonna lose about three quarters of an inch on each side, but not true usable space. And uh, you know the, the alternative. You really don't being, want the mirrors on the vehicle that close to the wall to begin yeah. with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing it close to the vest if yeah. uh, if you're worried about our system being the the deal breaker. For, right. You know, utilizing your garage space. All right. So we have our columns set. Our jack screws are resting on top of our columns. 
Now we're ready to place our new lintel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna get it placed before we actually start the jacking process. All right, so now our lintel is installed, it's resting on the jack screws. The next step, we're gonna actually turn those jack screws and that's where the lift comes from. If you look right now, it's got a bit of an arch on each side. As those jack screws turn, we're gonna bring them level on each side so that the lintel is resting level across. Once that's done, the bend in our beam keeps pressing upward and that's where the redistribution of weight comes from. When I'm getting ready to have something like this done, how long am I looking at being off work to watch this process take place? <laughs> well, uh, you're, you're welcome to, you know, still go to work. Uh, the, the fun thing is you could go to work, uh, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning and pull up and the system be fully done. You'd never know we were there aside from uh, at the garage just having a new trim on it. it. Doesn't take a lot of time. Brick mason repaired, you know, typically that's gonna be that job that's three, four days. You're getting home, you've got mortar just all over your driveway. Uh, this is a good six hours in and out install. All right, so we are finished up. The system is installed. Uh, one thing we make note of to every homeowner, our system is in place, but the steel is actually not gonna reach a resting point for about six weeks. So if you're interested in doing any tuck pointing, give it that amount of time before it reaches that resting point and then fill in any cracks. Uh, you also want a, like a master brick mason to come in and match that mortar color. But we're finished up. We're only out here a handful of hours. I think we're going on three or four hours now. We're gonna throw this trim up, give it a sharp look, and we're gonna be good to go.